Is a nuclear bomb the ultimate weapon? In the age of artificial intelligence, this question does not have a yes or no answer. And I'll tell you why. The US has recently tested a new type of weapon, an F F-16 fighter jet operated by AI. That's right, a fighter jet flown by artificial intelligence instead of a human soldier. So instead of a pilot, it was AI in the cockpit. The technology is still under development, but the US Air Force is betting big on it. They plan to introduce a fleet of AI-enabled fighter jets. The first planes could be inducted as soon as 2028. Our next report brings you more. It was a sunny afternoon in California. Frank Kendall, the U.S. Air Force Secretary, was a man on a mission. He was supposed to test a special aircraft. From the outside, it looked just like any other fighter jet in the world. But don't let the appearance deceive you. This plane isn't flown by a pilot. Instead, it can be controlled by artificial intelligence or AI. That's what Secretary Kendall was there to experience. And he wasn't disappointed. The AI-powered plane went head-to-head -head against a manned F-16 jet. It was a simulated dogfight. The result was unambiguous. The AI outperformed the real pilot. Secretary Kendall, having witnessed the technology firsthand, is now convinced of its potential. He feels confident enough to let AI fire real weapons. The computer is not going to get tired. It's not scared. Um, uh, it's it's going to follow its rules and do as, as close to a perfect maneuver as it can do. Uh, whereas the humans are always going to have some variability in how they perform. To be clear, AI is not replacing real-life pilots anytime soon. But the U.S. Air Force wants to invest in it. That too in a big way. Their plan is to build an entirely new fleet of aircraft, a total of 1,000 planes which will be equipped with AI. The first lot could enter service within four years. The US Air Force calls this technology VISTA. That's short for Variable In-Flight Simulator Test Aircraft. How does it work? The AI on board the aircraft doesn't have a brain of its own. It relies on data and machine learning to recognize patterns and make decisions. This aircraft uh, in the X-62 has one purpose, which is to advance the state of machine learning. Once it's airborne, the aircraft can analyze specific situations and execute both defensive and offensive maneuvers. The technology cannot fully replace the pilot in the cockpit yet, especially in combat situations, but it can assist them, executing specific tasks with greater accuracy like executing tighter turns, engaging in more risky moves, and helping fire shots with better accuracy. In the case of more routine missions, where human input is not required, the AI can be trusted to fly the aircraft on its own and complete the task at hand. The technology is not perfect yet, but the US clearly has a head start. It is believed to be the only nation with AI-powered planes. America's rivals will accelerate their efforts to catch up if they haven't already, but this breakthrough could mark the beginning of a new arms race, where AI is at the front and center. In the absence of any regulations, this could lead to the birth of new and more dangerous threats, one that our world may not be fully prepared to deal with. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison Lagrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. South Africa goes to the polls on the 29th of May. I will track the election and bring you ground reports. Is it the end of the road for the African National Congress? And will former President Jacob Zuma stage a dramatic comeback? From elections to climate change, to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post. <laughs>